Okay, so let's start. Lead collection. Look, I want to book appointments in my diary. Where do they come from? They come from names. They come from people that we get introduced to. They come from people we meet at network events. They come from a variety of different sources. Um, so we, we need to think in terms of how am I feeding the beast? How am I feeding names into the system so that it allows me to then convert those names um, into meetings? Yeah, right? That's ultimately what we want to do. And we know that if we ask three people, two of them might say no. Therefore, we need three names for two people to say no, one to say yes. Okay? So we need three names. Where do the three names come from? So we work on a process called lead collection. Now, why do we do it? Yeah? And what's it about? I mean, I suppose the first thing is that we do it because... Like I said, you need to feed names into the system because otherwise you've got nothing to work with. And what's the rationale behind it? Well, it all starts with quality and quantity. Unfortunately, quantity is the first thing. So you need to have the right number. If you don't have the right quantity of leads, you've got a problem. So most people start with quality. I'd rather you saw the auntie or the uncle from the Hawker Center than not see anybody, okay? So not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with them, but I'd rather you saw someone that wasn't in your business that maybe knows someone who knows someone. Now, as it happens, um, I have a client of mine here, right, who, who, who the guy who, who runs a hawker center, right, you know, a stall in a hawker center actually is one of the most connected people in his industry. So, so, so there is something to be said. You need to be out there meeting people. But quantity is the most important thing. We then step into quality. Now, why is that important? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look at a thousand cold dials. And um, you, you know, this is giving you a rough guesstimate on what you would get from it. But a thousand cold dials maybe gets you 23 appointments only. Yeah. So that's one to two appointments per hundred dials. It's not many, right? If I have a warm name, I end up with one in three go to appointments. And if I have a hot name, yeah, right. Um, you, you know, six and ten go to an appointment. Yeah? I mean, it's good, good ratios. Yeah. Now, what does that equate to? Well, 23 appointments, cold leads. Maybe you get one in ten because people cancel. So, like 50% canceration rate. You end up with two sales from ten appointments done if you're lucky, if you're good at what you do. Um, whereas warm leads and warm names, where you've got a relationship to go back to, are far more likely um, to convert across into sales and become clients. Same with hot referrals um, are going to convert across the sales much more effectively than warm or cold leads. So we should be steering away from cold and steering into warm and hot. That's what we're trying to do. And that's what the next um, two weeks are about is how do I generate warm? How do I generate hot leads right, on an ongoing and consistent basis?